This video will demonstrate how to assemble a Dactronix MS2113 portable LED scoreboard. Provided parts include the scoreboard with two tube attachments, two T-stands, four axle tubes, four 10-inch wheels, six 5 16 diameter pins and clips, four 5 8 inch bolts, and 16 5 8 inch flat washers. You will need to provide a 15 16 inch wrench to assemble the axles. First, mount the wheels to the axles. Run the included bolt through the wheel and thread the nut onto the bolt. Ensure that the nut is loose enough for the wheel to turn freely. Use a 15 16 inch wrench if needed. Use the wrench to hold the bolt in place while you attach the axle tube to the wheel by threading it onto the bolt. Repeat the process for the second, third, and fourth wheels. Insert the axle tubes into the T-stands and secure them using the pins with retaining clips. Ensure that the axle tubes are at their narrowest setting. There are two potential axle positions. We will cover the applications for these positions later in this video. Next, insert the two T-stands into the larger tube attachments on the sides of the scoreboard and secure the stands using the pins with retaining clips. The axle tubes should be perpendicular to the scoreboard. The display is now ready for use. Before you raise the scoreboard, you will need to extend the axles to ensure maximum stability. To adjust the axles, simply remove the pin and slide the axle away from the T-stand until the holes align and then insert the pin. Repeat this process for the remaining wheels. Before proceeding, note that you should not raise the scoreboard in high winds or transport the display in the raised position. These actions increase the likelihood of the display tipping over and causing injury or damage to the display. There are three height adjustment holes in the mounting tubes on the sides of the display. To raise the display for viewing, remove the pins and retaining clips and slide the display upward on the T-stand until the holes on the T-stand align with the hole of the desired display height. To lower the display for storage or transport, reverse this process. Once the display is lowered, the axles may be adjusted inward for transportation purposes. Thank you for viewing this video. For further information, visit dactronics.com support to view videos, knowledge base articles, and documentation for this and other Dactronics products.